Hello everyone, it's Patrick Mack with INT7213 Emerging Technologies for Lawrence Tech University. I am back here again giving you the latest greatest updates here for the class. We'll start off basically about talking about what I would like you to do in terms of being ready to uh, post your evaluation surveys. You should have received an email from me coming to your email address um, that you gave for the ltu.edu address. So that's done through Google Forms survey. And then also this week you will tackle architecture of participation. Um, that's in our Web 2.0 book. And then finally, least, last but not least, we'll be also going ahead and we will be starting um, the next section as far as getting ready for um, the next assignment. But for now, what we want to focus on is I want you to be very good evaluators and I want to make sure that you do a great job just like uh, we've tried to do with our discussion boards. And I do will have a different video for you uh, to show you what is really good in discussion boards. So you make sure you get all the points going forward. Um, so I'll also have a posting on that. So without further ado, uh, let's proceed. Okay, and here we are with our splash page when we first get into Blackboard. We'll go ahead and we'll get into our class, Emerging Technologies. And once that comes up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to basically go ahead right into our modules page. Well, I was wrong. It was right there in front of me, right here in announcements. Huh. See, I didn't have to look further in my notes. Right here, we have an assignment one uh, link that you'll see uh, starting on Monday. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to just kind of click this link or copy that link that you see in that assignment one. I also sent this to everyone's uh, email address. Now, if you didn't get it in your email address, you might want to check your spam folder. And you also may want to check that you gave a good uh, ltu.edu address so uh, with the course that I can send that to you because that's how I basically disseminate all my survey forms. So I'm going to go ahead, pretending like I'm clicking this link, and I'm going to bring up that form right now. This is what the form should look like once you get it on onto your screen. And what you want to do on this is uh, you want to uh, make sure that you're you're in in the right link. And what I got to do right here, real quick, is I want to make sure that this is in um, preview mode. All right. This is how it's really going to look for you. And as you can see, I come in here, I'm going to see a nice screen. Um, I gave you a listing of people that you are to uh, survey. You'll come right here, you'll hit the drop down, and you'll pick a name under the drop down. Uh, what was the name of their emerging technology that they presented for their video project? So, video tech. Whatever video, I'm just going to make something for Avatar real quick here. Project one. All right. You would have a URL address that I could basically put in right here. So I'll go ahead, type in that URL address that Avatar basically, or any student basically, uh, put as far as where they recorded their. Um, their uh, URL address and here you'll go right down you'll start answering the questions now notice in this section it says this page of performance metrics related to how well the student was able to present with the thing I'm going to rate his over, uh, overview background technology we'll say that Avatar did a great job on this and I'm going to explain why you know I don't I don't want to just give them a five just because I want to say Avatari went into great depth 
and fully develop this section, especially with, and then right through here, you want to give a specific example of what it was that the student did really well and that really helped you to uh, give them a, a full outstanding credit. Same thing goes, if you didn't give that student full credit, Ebitorium went into some depth, and I'll say here, but could have gone into more detail on, and then what you want to do is from the work that you want to give the example of what it was that the student could have provided further examples, research, insight. And you'll do that with each one of these sections. You'll rate the section and then you'll give the comment and rationale for why you scored it the way you did. All right, and you'll go through all these until you get to the very bottom. At the very end, you're going to click the submit button, and that'll upload it directly to uh, to the uh, to my website on Google Drive, so that you don't have to upload or transfer anything. But what I would like you to do is then go into the uh, the discussion board forums area, and then share with them uh, share with uh, some thoughts that you might want to share uh, with the group. Um, your postings will go back to the uh, person that did the project anonymously so that they don't see your name and that way you don't feel like uh, you're basically uh, not doing what you're supposed to be doing because you're supposed to be helping your colleagues. So be fair, be frank, but also when, when it deserves merit, please give them the score that they would deserve, such as this one. Completed within 10 minute time requirement. Great job. It's always nice to hear when you're doing a great job. And then hit the button and you'll be all done. If for some reason you don't fill things in, it'll warn you what you didn't fill in. And also make sure that you work your spelling along the way. All right. That's what we got. For you can do five of these uh, worth five points each. If you don't fill them out all the way, um, you'll see that in your scores for your evaluation. And these will get harder as we progress. All right. If you have any questions, please post down the discussion board forum with the questions area to the instructor. And either myself or other students can chime in on how to help. Good luck.